Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Today is Simple Stamping and Paper Crafts. So this has been around for a long time. It was one of the very first treat holders I ever made. Not quite this big, but um, yeah, these are so fun and they're great for the holidays. I made this one into kind of an ornament and they are the sour cream containers. And this one's a really good size to fill with some bunch of chocolates or some kind of um, Hershey Kisses, anything like that. But it's super cute and I love this paper. This paper is really retro, so if you really like that retro look, this night before Christmas, it's a 6x6. Six six, and we're making it super simple. We're just using the whole 6x6 six six to make these. But look at the patterns on this. And you could use any of these. You can make one of every one. Oh, I love the green one. I didn't see that one. Or I would have made that one. But look at these. Look at the candy canes and the little coffee cups. They're so retro to me. I love the Santa and the sleigh. And there's so many great patterns in this. So we are using this to make our sour cream container. And like I said, I made it into a little ornament. But it's really cute and quick and easy. So this is what I'm sharing. All right, so you are going to need a piece of 6x6. Six six. Uh, let's see. Let's do this side this time. Yeah, let's do something a little bit different. So to do these, we are using night before Christmas like I said and then we are using these stitched stars dies now I'm using this one here this is a huge set look at these on here there's so much to use and they're all stitched and they're beautiful this is a beautiful um, little swirl with stars and I'm actually going to share our card probably next week I'm using that and it's just gorgeous these are really gorgeous and it go it comes as a bundle with the so many stars stamp set. Turn it on this side and you're going to use tear and tape for this. You are going to put one piece along the edge here. And I usually try to put it as close to the edge as I can. And then oops. And then what we're going to do is put another piece down at the bottom here and then I'm going to just put another piece right in the center here at the top only in the center just like that so I'm going to kind of press these down a bit and then we're going to take the backing off and I'm only taking the backing off first of this long piece so we can line this up just right and you're going to just roll it and line up the edge and then on this one we are going to take the backing off And this one we are going to, let's see, closing this one this way. And then this one we're going to take off. And don't forget to fill it before you put any, <laughs> you close it up. So fill it, fill it up with your candy. And then this one we're pressing the opposite way. Now I did something a little bit different with that one and you probably couldn't even tell very much but I used my little paper crimper and if you don't have one you don't even have to do it. It's very cute like this. Oh I really like this paper. But I'm just going to roll it through my crimper a couple times. Just the edge. It just makes it look more like a little sour cream. It gives it that little edge. I don't know if you can catch it there. And then we're going to do the same with this one. And then we have that little bit of an edge. Now I'm going to grab my hole punch. This is so pretty, this color. 
and we are going to run our oh, I used the wrong hole punch I wanted the larger one for this one because my ribbon is a little bit larger and we're going to use this Merry Christmas classic weave ribbon and we're going to just string a piece of ribbon for a little ornament these are really cute to give guests to when they come visit during the holidays I'm just going to tie a knot at the top. Okay, just like that. I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter. And then we have our ribbon on there. Isn't that ribbon really pretty? Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to stamp joy to the world and the joy to the world is from this itty bitty christmas you can use any of these for that it would be cute from our house to your house the two just the to and from the believe the very merry but i like this joy to the world and i'm going to use our new um delicata gold ink and that is the delicata i grabbed the wrong one before all right and so we're going to use this and it's gorgeous so look how pretty it's very very really rich gold looking and I'm going to use my one and a quarter circle punch and punch that out and then we're going to quickly bring the big shot up here and actually I used the same this die out of the same stars dies that this one came out of and I ran three of these through on our sparkle glimmer paper it's really pretty and then we're going to bring up the big shot and we're just going to run that star through and we'll be ready to finish it up so I'm going to use my cherry cobbler And it's so pretty because it's stitched and you probably can't see it that well in the camera but it's really really pretty I love all these stars so that's the star right there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of snail to the back and we're going to add our little sparkles here it just gives it a little bit added interest and a little bit down there and one more Oop, that one came off and then I am going to pop that one does not want to stay something always happens when I'm doing my video all right, and then we're going to pop up the Joy to the World with a dimensional. And we're going to put that right in the center. And then I'm going to just use some wet glue. But you know what? I think what I'm going to do is use some um, Fast Fuse because that one's not wanting to stay very well. And we are just going to put it on the front here of our box. I think this one needs to go up a little bit more. Now it's really, really sticky. All right, so there it is. So quick and easy, but so fun. I love this pattern. It's super, super cute. And here's the other one. This one's pretty too. So there you go. A quick and easy Christmas treat box or container. <laughs> okay, everyone. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. I hope you all have a blessed one and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.